Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, you got to know everything you need to know about the Dufy Shine plugins working on the old 360 camera Ricoh Theta V. Now, the Ricoh Theta V has still have a lot of potential in the imaging quality with the help of the Dufy Shine plugins. But the Dufy Shine plugins works differently compared with Z1. Now, let's get started. To make the most of Dual Fish Eye plugin on Theta V, I highly recommend set this plugin as the default choice when entering the plugin mode. Here I show you two ways on the PC, on a mobile app, how to set the Dual Fish Eye plugins as the default choice when entering the mode. So different from the Rico Theta Z1, the Theta V only have three buttons. From top to left is the power button, the long press the power button to open this camera, and the Wi-Fi button and the mode button. So there is no FN button on the Theta V. So the two fish eye plugins works differently on the Theta V. The long press the mode button to go to the plug-in mode. My plugins has three shooting modes on the Theta V. The first one is single mode. Press the shutter button and it will take a single shot. Press the mode button. Now we are in the bracket shooting mode, which the LED will turn purple. And press the mode button again. Now the LED returns to yellow, which means we are in the burst shooting mode. On the bracket mode, by default, uh, it will shoot three shots from minus one to plus one. And if we click on the Wi-Fi button once, it will shoot shoot five photos from minus two to plus two. We tap the Wi-Fi button again. Now the the Theta V will shoot minus three to plus three altogether seven shots. And press the Wi-Fi button again. It will shoot from the minus four to plus four. As you can see, the the LED blinking at different speed. So let's go to the burst mode. So burst mode by default, it will shoot three JPEG files for you in a sequence with all the same exposure values on every image and press the Wi-Fi button once. Now go to the burst 5 shot and next up burst 7 shot and next up is burst 9 shot and for the burst mode we can shoot up to 17 shots. As you can see the, the LED blink really fast. If you want to have a timer to count down you can long press the Wi-Fi button and you can see that the camera button, the camera icon, the, air, the blue LED will blinking. We blink, which means that we have now a 10 second countdown timer. Now let's start shooting. I want to take a 9 bracket shoot. It's to go to the mode, to the bracket, press 3 times until the blinking. And now we, uh, with the camera icon blinking, we have 10 second countdown timer. So to start shooting, we press the shutter button. Can you hear that? Now it's countdown. Together you will hear 10 uh, shutter sound because the first one is to measure the exposure and the, the rest of the nine shot will be shoot in bracket mode. So that is all how you shoot with the dual feature eye plugin on the CTV. On the desktop workflow we can see that on the bracket 9 mode from the minus 4 to plus 4 we get 9 dual feature eye JPEG files. And you can see uh, some of them are overexposed, uh, some of them are underexposed, but we have captured all the details of the scenery. And I use the Aurora HDR 2019 to stack all of them into an HDR image, and then I export at 16-bit TIFF files or 32-bit EXR real HDR files. And you can also put, put play with the sliders on the right to get a more optimized effect as you want and you can always compare the before and after and 
by stacking in the Euro HDR 2019. The 9 shot of dual fisheye plugin in bracket mode can help you get a much higher imaging quality compared with a single DNG file. And you can export and then for the stitching part, you can stitch in the Pedigree Pro because the Pedigree Pro has already support Theta V, the template stitching. And you can uh, stitch them in Pedigree Pro 11 and with, uh, uh, with the Pedigree Pro 12 and the optimized seam detection, you can get a perfect result straight out from the PDQ software. And also you can substitute with the original files and make some before and after comparison. And here is the final result comparison before and after. Okay everyone, that's all for today's video. I hope you like it and don't forget to subscribe, thumb up and hit the notification bell. And I will see you in our next video. Bye.